the power company is here, they're going to remove these transformer right here. The, uh, the reason I'm going to have them remove it, this is the one that powers my house, is because since we're pouring concrete there, I figured I'm going to remove it, and that way I can pour concrete over the whole thing, and then we can have both transformers sitting on a uh, on nice pad, because you can see that one's already leaning. So we're going to do that, and uh, tomorrow they're going to come back and set it, and I'm really pushing really hard so they can set the other one as well. They're telling me they can't set the other one because it's too heavy, and it won't, you know, it can't crack the concrete. This is what I do for a living. So I told them, nope, it's fine. So we're gonna pour extra hot mix. We're gonna add some super plasticizers in there and all kinds of fun stuff so that we don't run the risk of it cracking. <sighs> it's not gonna crack. I mean, the, the weight is spread over the whole thing. But anyway, so I'm pushing really hard for them to do it by tomorrow. Uh, but we'll see what happens. We still have to change those nipples coming up to the, to the, to the switch. They need to be uh, rigid. Right now there's still PVC, but uh, we're just gonna have to uh, do that later today or early in the morning before these guys get here. But the point is I'm pushing really hard so I can get this done so I can have me some power in there, some three-phase power. Uh, we still haven't done the power on the inside, so even if they do the transformer, I'm still not gonna have power, but I'm pushing for the uh, uh, electrician to bring all that today so that I can have some in there tomorrow. But anyway, push, 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 and hope for the best. So there goes the transformer. So what, uh, they're coming back tomorrow, like I said, and they're gonna reset it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, now that they pull the transformer we need to remove this pad right here lift it out of the way remove that dirt add the rebar back in or first put the plastic down add rebar back in and then just pour the concrete all the way through the uh, concrete slab they are telling me that they need me to leave a window over here just like this pad has like this one uh, I don't know why they want me to leave that window. I asked him why and he said just in case they ever need to get another pipe in here, but I mean, that ain't happening. Because I mean, that was the reason we didn't just add more pipes to that one, uh, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna tell my guys to block it off, I guess, but I really wanted to have the slab all the way through so that we wouldn't have any of that ants or anything coming through like we have here. Things are going well, they're just gonna set it down right there. And uh, concrete's gonna be here shortly, in about an hour. Then hopefully we'll get this thing poured without a hitch and uh, keep on trucking. I added a sidewalk since we were doing that. You can see right here, we added a sidewalk. That way I can get me right to the door and uh, might as well just get it done now. Uh, here, let me show you something about this sidewalk. It is at a different level, the sidewalks at this level and then it drops off right there so right there where the two meet there's going to be a drop off uh it looks like about eight inches so there'll be a step right there from one to the next so that that temporary pad needed to come out so while they were here i asked them if they could pull it with that crane and i'm glad i did because that thing looks to be on there pretty good There it goes. I got Leroy here with me. I gotta go here shortly, so Leroy's gonna handle everything today. What do you say? Oh, they're taking it? Okay, that's fine. What are they gonna give us a credit? You think they're gonna give us a credit for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it on the, on the invoice. <laughs> We've been in construction long enough, right, Leroy? <laughs> That's right. We know how this works. That's right. You'll anyway. see it on the invoice. It's hidden there somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, well, I'm just thankful that they pulled it off because that's something we don't have to do. We still have to level off that pad and, uh, you know, get it ready to pour, but 
We'll be ready. We'll be ready, Leroy. We'll be ready at 11:30. Uh, 11:30 a.m. We are pouring a pretty hot mix. Uh, we're pouring 3,500 straight sack winter mix. The difference between winter mix and summer mix is winter mix uh, does not have retarder. Some uh, summer mix they add retarder to the mix. So this one's going to be no retarder, 3,500 straight sack, which means 100% cement, no fly ash whatsoever. That's going to speed things up. It's going to make it sit faster. We're also going to add fiber to the uh, to the concrete. We. Uh, those of you that don't know, this is my day job. I, this is what I do for a living. So I know a lot of tricks <laughs> to make this lab stronger. And uh, some of those tricks are obviously more cement in the mix. By the way, those of you that know, cement is a ingredient to make concrete. <laughs> so more cement in the mix, no retarder. And then we're gonna add this uh, fiber. This fiber right here, is just some amazing stuff it uh, reinforces the concrete and uh, it just has a lot of benefits locks in the moisture to prevent cracking and all that good stuff and whenever you lock in the moisture it makes your concrete stronger because the sun can or the heat can suck the moisture out of the concrete concrete needs moisture to cure so if you lock it in you're gonna have a stronger slab so anyway we're doing all that so this thing is gonna be pretty strong, no problem. I'm not worried about it. They're talking about they may set these transformers tomorrow. I may have transformers by tomorrow, but still no power, which is frustrating. But anyway, we're moving forward. So I'm back. I had to go to San Antonio and get the wire that we're gonna need for the secondary. This is all the wire that we're gonna need. That's the wire that's gonna go from the transformer to the disconnect. Uh, I had to go get it because they're gonna do the transformer tomorrow and I needed this wire here because I don't I don't need any any more things slowing everything down. So I went to go get the wire. Luckily I was able to get it today. In the meantime, the guys have been hard at it. You can see the slab is coming along pretty well. Uh, I, I only went to there and we just sat at an angle because this is actually where my water drains from the yard, right here. There's a covert pipe right there that looks like they ran over. Of course, of course they ran it over. <laughs> Why wouldn't they run it over? <laughs> uh, anyway, covert pipe right there. So. Obviously, I didn't want to block all this. You can see it right here, but uh, it doesn't matter because one transformer is here, the other one's there. Obviously, all the power stuff is going to be there, and that's all we're going to have here. We're not going to have much of anything else. Uh, if I get tired of looking at it, I can always put a privacy fence around all this, and then we don't have to look at it. But yeah, it's going well. The weather's perfect. So, how'd it go, Leroy? 
stressful. <laughs> Concrete companies. What happened, Leroy? Oh, they say they're sending a the truck. It's on its way. It's getting loaded. You call back 10 minutes later. Yeah, they're still loading. They'll be leaving in a minute. Then 10, 20 minutes later, they just left. Yeah. Well, they're on their way. That's how it is. But uh, anyway. It's, it's done. It's done. So we're doing this here. And then did you pour the pad in the back for the yeah, air compressor? So we decided to put a... <laughs> so you guys told me originally i put the air compressor inside the building and you guys said that's a bad idea well then i moved it outside the building and uh obviously it was much better inside with less noise however now we got the noise out here so i decided just to come back here and do a pad back here this is like a four by eight and then i'm just gonna put the air compressor here and I'm probably gonna enclose it, and uh, that way I don't have to worry about it. Whoa, it's windy today. So anyway, that's what we did. The air compressor's going back here, which means now I'm gonna have to run a plug all the way back there, but hey, I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, now I absolutely have no power to that building because we disconnected this uh, panel. You can see Leroy cut off that pipe because now that pipe needs to go into the gutter. So now I will have absolutely no power to that building. Of course, I can still run the, uh, the machine with that big generator, but now I uh, will need another generator to run the air compressor, which is really the only two things that I need to run. Uh, but nothing else. I'm gonna be in there in the dark, but it's okay. We'll <laughs> I'll manage. But for now, we don't have power for the next for the next day. I'm not gonna have any power here at the house. But huh, it's part of it. So I think now we're gonna have to go get a hotel room so we can spend the night. But at the same time, I wanna be in there trying to make some parts, but can't do it today. Anyway, let's get back at it. All right, so the slab is done. Now I'm hoping they can install the uh, transformer tomorrow because if they don't i know for sure okay scratch that i don't know anything for sure anymore they did tell me they're gonna do this one tomorrow that one they said they were gonna do tomorrow that's why i ran and got the wire now they're telling me they may not set it because they want the slab to uh set up properly because they're afraid that it's gonna tilt it's gonna do whatever because it's super heavy I told them, I said, I made sure that this lab is good enough. Just set it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I don't know if they're gonna do that. <sighs> the problem that I now have, another one, yes, another problem. This panel right there was hooked up to that panel through here. Now that we did away with that pipe because it's gonna be now connected to that, this building will now not have any power until they do this transformer. Of course, now, if I want to run the lathe, I can still run it with a generator, but I still need air. So if they don't set up this transformer tomorrow, if they don't install it, I'm gonna have to bring the air compressor now, plug it in in this shop, and then just run air hoses all the way to that shop. And I'm just gonna have to work in the dark. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I'm hoping they set it tomorrow, but even if they set it, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. So my plan for right now is to bring the air compressor to this shop and then just run an air hose all the way over there and then just work in the dark. Uh, like I said, I don't know what else to do at this point. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know if they're going to set it. And if they, even if they do, the, the electrician can't be here for a couple of more days. The immediate plan is to just hook up the compressor over here. But anyway, that's what's going on here. I mean, we're making progress, but at the same time, every time we take one step forward, I feel like I'm taking two back. But whatever. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the game. All right. Thank you for joining me. I, truly, thank you. Uh, Thank you for your encouraging uh, comments. I read them and they help. Trust me, they help. All right, we'll see you guys next time.
Keep them centered. Tonight I'm feeling me. Gonna make an ugly scene. Tonight I'm feeling.